Easter come, which is coming up on uh, April 16th, the day before uh, Easter. And we haven't had an Easter egg hunt since 2019 because of you know what. And in fact, we got all ready for 2020. And then, you know, Easter hits right around March and, and April and COVID hit. And so we had all this stuff ready to go and it all got boxed up and stored right below us here in the, in the storage. And so two years go by and this year we get to do it again. So we dug out all the old stuff, but you, now imagine I know Halloween candy, who knows how old that really is, but, but if you but imagine Easter candy that's been sitting in the eggs for two years. And uh, so uh, we had to do a little taste test of all these. You know, can you chew it still or will it pull out the feel fillings? And so there were about 400 eggs that we had to restuff. And so this last Tuesday, uh, about 22 of our members uh, gathered and we filled uh, what, about 1,600 empty eggs, jumbo eggs, with prizes and candy, a couple little prizes, a couple little candies, and another group pulled apart 426 other eggs, took the candy out, put in new candy, because those were the ones from the previous year that were left over. So uh, so we have a lot of, lot of eggs that we stuff, and, and, um, and we have usually have about 150 children who attend. And most of them are 12 or under, that's why I say that. Because it, and it's not our rule. It's, you know, when you get 12 and 13, that's they self-select as far as what it is. People who aren't grand, active grandkids watching, grandparents watching them to come and help out them that a lot, a lot of times. And David's doing that now too. So um, you're all welcome. And thank you very much for your support.